Blame Truth here, and I am very, very sad to bring you this video because I have made a startling realization. And that realization is that 100% this game, Modern Warfare 3, has been sabotaged. It's been cease and desisted by Activision themselves. And this may not make sense, but as we get into the video, I am going to consult your guys' favorite thing, and that is all the data! You know, this data, man. Uh, let me just actually switch voices. Let me switch characters. Let me, let me switch over to an Activision executive here. Uh, the data shows that uh, they're not buying the Battle Pass for MW3. I cannot imagine why. But see, guys, I'm going to tell you exactly why. The last season of Modern Warfare 3 has been met with some, uh, I don't know, some eyebrows, we'll say, some, some questions. Why is it so lacking in content compared to Sledgehammer Games' other seasons? You're not going to believe this. You're truly not going to believe this. But this is a literal inside job from Activision. Look, man, this is YouTube. I know stuff can get clickbaity and whatnot, but just hear me out here. Seriously, hear me out. Guys, Activision literally cut Sledgehammer Games off at, at the fucking knees again. I wish I was joking about this, and I, I've actually covered this briefly in, in a previous video, but Sledgehammer Games has continually, continually been shit on. And everyone that says I'm just negative about Call of Duty, eat my fucking asshole. Floss with my anal pubic hairs, okay? I have done nothing but praise Sledgehammer Games all year long, pretty much, since Modern Warfare 3 released. The game is, was, a DLC of Modern Warfare 2. The game was a $70 ripoff. Yes, the game launched with a bunch of recycled garbage. It barely resembled a full release title. And yet, somehow, Sledgehammer Games has brought us the best Call of Duty content in the last five years. There's no, there's no, like, arguing that. That's not an opinion. That is objective. Like, seriously. But like I said earlier, they've been cut off at the knees yet again. I will give you guys all of the grim details, all of the meat and potatoes after a brief word from this video sponsor. Today's video was sponsored by Factor. They have been sponsoring my channel all year long and in previous years as well. And for good reason, I absolutely love them. I stand by their product. I'm not just an ad reader. I am a customer. Guys, I'm so sick of the delivery fees with takeout. I am so sick of restaurants and, and waiting for fast food that's neither fast nor cheap. I go with Factor now to save money and time, and I cannot be happier with their selection. I actually went with a vegetarian uh, meal kit here this particular week just because I'm kind of bored of meat. There's no real reason other than that, and I wanted to try Factor's vegetarian options. Their peanut Buddha bowl is fantastic, as well as everything else I tried, and I also also got some of their vegan protein shakes here which were delicious and had caffeine so this is like the perfect pre-workout if you are someone who does like to work out and get some protein in you before you hit the weights so guys if you're busy like i am and you want vegetarian options ketogenic options high protein options whatever Factor is the way to go. They're fresh, never frozen, delivered directly to your door. They microwave in two to three minutes. I can't speak highly enough of them. So guys, head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code CODFATHER50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. Again, that's CODFATHER50 at Factor75.com to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. All right, guys, welcome back to the video. Let's cover this from Charlie Intel here. He says, Rumors have suggested that MW3's final seasons have had a lower amount of new 6v6 maps, the last two seasons in particular, because Treyarch has reportedly taken SHG's maps for Black Ops 6 post-launch seasons. It's probably why Season 5 and 6 now only have had one to two new maps and more variants instead. But wait, it gets worse, and I covered this a couple months ago from a trusted leaker. 
They say Treyarch is stealing SHG maps for BO6 post launch. They stole S5 and S6 maps, are repurposing them. Whether they publicize it, I don't know, but they likely won't. And I say, is that why we only got to this season? Ugh. And as you can see here, this is from July 19th. So get this this is the bombshell. Activision thinks it makes Treyarch and IW look bad when SHG is making so many maps the game has literally been cease and desisted and, and you might be thinking that's like crazy talk like that doesn't make sense bt i mean think about this guys I, I just covered in a recent video black ops 3 being dangerous to play online even on console you are at risk of a russian man named pavlov sending you uh, sexed messages about his bi curious experiments with his buddy dimitri uh name is pavlov and uh, not gay or anything but love when Dimitri, uh, I love when Dimitri rubs my toes sensually with Vaseline. You are at risk of hearing something like that, getting a, a, a man from Bangladesh calling and claiming he's your mother and saying like, oh, I need your credit card details, dear. Like, dude, this is insanity. Not only are these old games like left just to rot they never get any new content they never really get any new updates they literally become unsafe to play because they just expect you to buy the next game if you really think about it activision every single year kills off their own games they cease and desist their own motherfucking yearly releases it's such a weird thing to say out loud, but it's literally true. Modern Warfare 2 was reportedly going to be like the first non-yearly release. It was going to be like a two-year cycle Call of Duty. Last minute, they backed out on it because Modern Warfare 2 was a colossal failure. I don't know if you guys realize this, but Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 was so bad that behind the scenes, the game, I mean, the game Warzone included and the full release title was just doing so bad player count wise. I mean, I covered it all year. They lost, it had to be like 85% of their player base on the only metric we could track it on Steam. From what I heard behind the scenes, it was just as bad on console. And that's from another trusted leaker that I, I know. It's bad, dude. Like, it, it was bad. They chickened out last second, had to get those yearly release bucks, and people bought it, hook, line, and sinker. The only saving grace this year is that Sledgehammer Games had time to bring us some fire content when they weren't fixing Infinity Ward's colossal fuck-up. Now, I'm not going to cover this in detail. I think Nero, Nero Cinema, made a, a way better video on this than I ever could. He actually played the game. I really don't want to download the game again. It's way too large, and I don't feel like unlocking stuff, and I don't feel like playing it. I hate the packet burst. I hate the skill-based matchmaking. It makes me want to drink bleach! So I, instead, uh, am just going to reference his video and say, go watch it. He covers the new map. Drive through, I believe it's called. It's a Halloween themed map. It has all these little Easter eggs and whatnot. It's clear that Sledgehammer Games is the only dev not bringing us tired, boring bullshit. Again, go watch Nero's video on it. He covers it in detail. The map actually has a lot going on just behind the scenes with the with the art team and whatnot. Like Sledgehammer Games, literally, is the only dev with actual soul anymore. And I'm, I don't say that just to hate on Infinity Ward blindly or Treyarch blindly. For most of my Call of Duty fandom, if you even want to call it that now, for, for most of my Call of Duty fandom, I have been a Treyarch fan. I, I have loved Treyarch's games. I've always thought Sledgehammer really missed the mark unless it was MW3 and that was half Infinity Ward. But they really won me over this past year. Granted, I still can't play the game because, I mean, I just hate it, like I said. Uh, I, I respect the fact that Sledgehammer Games can bring us some awesome content, though. If it was on a better game, on better servers that didn't packet burst me every 20 seconds. If I didn't get punished for getting better. If everything I did in Modern Warfare 3 actually carried over and didn't just disappear after a year, I, I would be more inclined to play it because they have done a fantastic job this particular year i want to cover that though i want to cover more of the cease and desist stuff and the fact that this year i mean people are just so sick of the yearly release shit i mean black ops 6 let's say let's say it's the best game ever it's the best call of duty ever 
it's nowhere close, but let's say they just come out with uh, uh, Black Ops 6 and they, they release amazing content all year and it's just fantastic. They tweak it all year. Packet Burst disappears. They even take away skill-based matchmaking. Let's say they do all that and Black Ops 6 is a hit. It does not fucking matter because after a year, not even a year, more like nine months, the game will be obsolete. The game will literally die. Again, it is cease and assisted by Activision themselves for the next yearly colossal goat fuck. Uh, am I telling lies? Tell me when I'm telling lies, please. Modern Warfare 3, I mean, people like aren't buying the Battle Pass for the new season. They sent this email out giving people who haven't played Modern Warfare 3 in a while a free Battle Pass. What about the people who've been playing all year, supporting the game, buying the Battle Passes? Why don't you give them something for free? Maybe some COD points or something. No, we gotta get little Timmy in here so we can manipulate him with our matchmaking. We, we gotta rope him in right before Black Ops 6. No one's gonna buy a Battle Pass for a game that's over in like a month, even with cool Halloween content i mean they got some fire scenes they got michael myers they got art the clown they got the smile movie universe as well and and sam from trick or treat they did great work with the skins this year for halloween but nobody's gonna buy it because the game's fucking dead in in a month if that it's just it ceases to exist it may as well cease to exist after that all the focus goes on black ops 6 i am so tired of it are, are you guys not Fucking sick of this shit! I'm sorry! I don't care about the data! Oh, won't someone please think of the data! The data shows that people love spending $70 per year on this recycled tripe. I am not one of those people. I am not in the data! Alright? I'm not! Like, I can't fucking stand it anymore man i'm so tired of it nothing i do in modern warfare 3 matters i wanted to actually check out this season but between the packet burst the terrible servers the skill-based matchmaking the shitty ui the fact that most stuff i have to play and spend some time on to unlock and the fact that it just doesn't matter i mean the game's dead in a month who cares I, I purchase stuff on games like Dead by Daylight. That game's been around like eight years. You know, it's not going anywhere. I mean, even Warzone isn't safe. Warzone 1 cosmetics and stuff like that that you may have bought didn't carry over to Warzone 2. Stuff that you buy in Modern Warfare 3 or during this era in Warzone will stay in Warzone but won't carry over to Black Ops 6. Why? Because fuck us. That's why. Tired of it. They did carry forward this year with MW2 to MW3. And it's gone. It's gone again. It, like, it, we'll never see it again. It's one of those things that comes out, people enjoy it, it's going to never be seen again. Like, you know, it's, it's like the uh, combat pacing in Vanguard, the best idea they've had in ages. It's not brought back. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's because uh, skill-based matchmaking couldn't function right with it. I guarantee you that's why they like, got rid of it. Guys, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. But this is pathetic. The, the Activision literally kills off their own games. I mean, it's no coincidence that Black Ops 3 is having so many issues, and I covered them in a full video. You can check that out. I'll link it at the end of this video and at the end screen. But, like, Black Ops 3 having so many issues, I'm sorry, that is not coincidental, man. They are killing off that game, making it as hard as possible and unsafe to play as possible to funnel you in to Black Ops 6 Zombies. You have to play Black Ops 6 Zombies. You have to play LIBERTY BALLS! Uh, the data shows that uh, too many people are playing Black Ops 3 for free. We need to funnel them into the, uh, the, the data-driven Black Ops 6 always online, even in single player. SHUT THE FUCK UP! I'm tired of it, man. And you guys should be too. And I'm sorry. I I'm not here yelling to hear myself yell. I'm really not. But the fact is, is that this game, these games, Modern Warfare 3 in particular, probably the best Call of Duty that's come out in the past five years, at least from a content perspective, it's just being killed off. We're starting over again. Black Ops 6, whether it's the most amazing game ever or it's a pile of garbage, who cares? It's dead in 10 months after it comes out. I'm mean, technically speaking, it's dead in a couple months after it comes out. Let's be real. 
it kind of hobbles along until the next yearly release. The only reason these Call of Duty multiplayer games are remotely relevant is because they get people in this cycle of gambling every year. Gambling that the new game will be good. Gambling that this year's going to be like this return to form. Gambling that hopefully packet bursts won't be as severe, or skill-based matchmaking will be toned down, or the maps will be better, or progression will be better, or prestige is back. I mean, they've introduced pay to win with the prestige model. You realize that, right? The stuff you buy in Black Ops 6, like the, the bundles and the um, blueprints and the weapons and stuff like that, those will not be gone when you prestige, I heard. You literally have essentially pay to win now in Black Ops 6, and it's there at launch. That, that's all I have to say on the matter, man. I, I, I mean, I could sit here up here and yell all day. I could sit up here and uh, pet my dog who thinks I'm dying as I'm screaming to my mic here. I'm okay, bud. But I'm just going to end this video and say, guys, like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of Call of Duty games getting cease and desisted by their fucking publisher. And you should be too. And before you say that's very dramatic, they're not being cease and desisted. They are being cease and desisted and even worse, they become unsafe to play. Like, you, you can't even play them. I don't know what else you would call that other than a cease and desist. I came to this realization this past week, like, looking at Modern Warfare 3 and the fact that I can't even log on to enjoy the game because the content doesn't matter. The content's dead. The content's done in a month. I can't even play, like, after the fact because there'll never be any new content coming to the game. So what's the point? Like, I can't wrap my head around it. This games as a service model with this yearly $70 price tag can die, go to hell, and burn in the seventh circle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. If you did, ring that notification bell. I will catch you guys on the next one. Everyone have a good one. Peace out. Advice.